Welcome. Oh wait, where's my mouse? Right oh, here. It's, the, it's, it's cool. Sorry. I got this. I. Oh no, it's upside down. I do that sometimes. Hold on, guys. Welcome. There's everyone. Look at. I even saw them calling out you guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live. That's what my thing says. Danny got real creative this morning. <laughs> This afternoon. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, guys, we are here. We have some guests that we're going to introduce, although I think a lot of you know them. Um, and we have our fact or fiction up above. We're going to talk about the new diffuser. We have some giveaways. Let's get started. Are we started? Essential oils definitely can help. We like giveaways. We do like giveaways. Forget about the dishes, forget about the laundry, forget about all of that for a minute. That's the same with essential oils, you guys. You have to figure out what works for you. You're gonna see a huge difference, a huge difference. Welcome back, you guys. So thanks for joining. We have some exciting guests today. Yeah, so the question is, do we introduce them or do we introduce our customers first? We should probably introduce them. You should, because Tyler does not look excited. Tyler! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. At any minute, I can just kick him right on out of here. Just kidding. Don't kick him out. Just kick him into smiling. <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus. <laughs> it, it, it's really hot up here. We could start with that. And I maybe ran up the stairs and collapsed. It was fine, you guys. It was fine. And these guys may have been traveling since 1 o'clock yeah. yes, last well, night. Or... On Monday, I got diagnosed with a double ear infection and a sinus infection. Oh, no. Thank goodness Kristen's <laughs> in between us. Yeah, I've been on antibiotics. Oh, good, good. So Tyler's really struggling. Maybe we'll talk more about that in a minute. But we have some special guests with us today. We have Tyler and Kristen. Um, they are basically the awesome SCOR admins. Not basically, they are the SCOR, the awesome whatever. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, so if you guys follow us on our SCOR page, that stands for Safe Essential Oil Recipes. Tyler and Kristen, you probably are very familiar with who they are. Um, but for those of you that might not, I'm going to have them say one fun thing about themselves. It has to be fun, cool, exciting, unique, crazy. Not too crazy. It has to be TV appropriate. <laughs> yeah, or not appropriate. On TV. Um, I'm going to have them share that, and then um, and then we're going to see who's joining us outside of this room. Our customers. So, okay, Tyler, we're going to start with you. Oh, uh, sorry. I called Tyler out. He was trying to call Kristen out. Um, I'm Tyler. Where, where do you have your microphone, Tyler? Um, I'm sure. Is it oh, plugged right, in? Do you have it on? I'm just going to turn you up. Okay. Fair enough. Can you oh, hear me now? You sound so good right now. Oh, <laughs> so awesome. good. Okay. So, I'm Tyler. And one random thing about me. Well, a lot of you already know. I love blue tansy. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll put that on everything. Sometimes during the live, if I'm talking about blue tansy, all I see are Tyler's comments yep. about how much he loves blue tansy. It's true. <laughs> okay. I, Wait, I how am, long have you worked for plant therapy? So I've been a customer from the beginning. Yeah. Um, and I'm going on two years as an actual Official employee employee. employee. But I was a contractor for a year before that, so. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I love Tyler. Cool. Okay, and then who's this? So I'm Kristen, and I have a really random fact about myself. Ooh, I like random. It's not aromatherapy related. That's okay. But I was unpacking books this weekend and realized I have around a thousand plus books. <gasps> Whoa! It's a little crazy. What kind of books? All kind of books. There's fiction books, aromatherapy books. I have it. You name it, I have it. Wow. There's a That's little bit impressive. of everything. Got our own library. I think I, I have like four. Like l literally. Four books. Probably. <laughs> Oh man, that's a. My kids have some kids books, but like actual books. If I read them, I get rid of them. Like. So you I reread. Not me. Mm -mm. I barely read the first time through. <laughs> so it's a random fact. There. That's really cool. That's really cool. And how long have you been working for plant therapy? It was a year in June. So pretty cool. So she's yeah. still kind of new. Although she's also been a customer. Yes. From I mean for four. years, not from the beginning. What four? four? Yeah. Four. Five years. Yeah. Five years. Five now. It'll be five years. Cool. So Ooh, there you have it. Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Woo! What do you like to do? you have one? I do. It's going to be delayed. Okay, now we're going to see who's joining us 
with our customers who's joining us through the TV. <laughs> we have Amanda from Delaware, Hannah from Wisconsin, Donna says, hey, hey. We have Christina from Portland, Retta says, hey, Tyler. <laughs> Sarah from Missouri, a little party's happening, Ashley, that's right, I'm going to scroll down because there's a lot of comments. We have Sandy from Vermont, Emily from Houston, we have Cassie says we love Tyler and Kristen, um, Kristen, hey look at that, from Tennessee, I'm going to do one more, let's see, Shanoa from Georgia, and who do we have joining us on Instagram? We have her adventures in reading, says hello from New York. Hey. She probably likes all those books that you have. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Keep calm, get my oils on, says Happy Hump Day from Vancouver, Washington. Happy Hump Day. Fabric Collector 02 says hello from cloudy and windy Saskatchewan. Uh, Callan's wife says welcome back to Idaho, Tyler and Kristen. Her name is Callan's wife. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> and we have love and wisdom 12 says aloha Kristen, Tyler and Retha from super breezy but sunny hot Maui. Aloha. Mm -hmm. Paul just got back from Hawaii for he was there like the last like 10 days. So I'm making sure he's really struggling today. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have, they're going to participate in a little bit. Um, I did see, before we actually do what is on our show to do, um, I did see a question asking for oil of the month hints. Now, I'm going to guess that that is September oil of the month, since we're, you know, almost through August. Yeah. Do you know what it is? <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. It's, it is, is it the one I'm thinking of? I, you never can trust what I say about oil of the month because it You may can't just be say fake. it anyways. You have to like mouth it. Do you know what it is, Katrina? Yes. She's right. Here's the is sound it, of it is writing. Is it this? <laughs> can they see my hands? <laughs> I think it's this, unless I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh. Yes, that is the one. Oh, okay. Yes. So I was yep. thinking of a different one. So that must, the one I was thinking of must be later. So do you Ooh. have a hint? Do you know, like, off, um, Tyler's really good at hints. If you, if you are, if you're in SEOR, you know that Tyler loves to give hints. And I'll give you people one. either hate it or love it. One Let's be hint. honest. It's something that, okay, I'll give you two. Ah! <laughs> it's something that always gets guessed every uh, month. Okay. And two, it's something that's been asked for a lot. Hmm. Do you know if it's kid safe or not? It is not. It is not kid safe. Okay, no. so there's three hints. I just made him give you another one. Three I hints. I could be lying, but I'm pretty sure it's not. He could not. be lying. He's not lying. Katrina is confirming. <laughs> Katrina knows. We're really getting our stuff mixed up today. <laughs> okay, so there's your, there's your hint. Okay, now back to the show. Um, oil of the week. It's Wednesday. What do we do on Wednesday? We introduce a new oil of the week. That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen's like, uh oh, I just got put on the spot. <laughs> Earlier she was like, if I go, can I just like sit in the background and not say anything? <laughs> Today was Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesdays, well, let we... me remind you oh, what today it. is. La, 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 oil of the week. <laughs> Guys, yes. poor Danny. He has like one job and I never let him do it. Just kidding. He has a lot more jobs. No, he writes there this. is one job. That's my favorite job. <laughs> um, it is Wednesday, so we launched a new oil of the week, which is sea fennel. Um, I'm not that familiar with sea fennel, honestly. Either one of yeah. you? Kristen it's likes different. it. Do you use it very often? I do use it. Well, I ran out and oh, at least hadn't bought, used it enough hadn't to ran bought out. it anymore. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not one that you were keeping up, but you like it. I do. I use it with Gangnam Glow and oh. I mix it with lavender. Okay. So I like it just this too. Did you guys hear her? Because the mics are here. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? So Which I, oil did you say? La lavender. I like to mix it with lavender and Younger Glow. And oh, I younger use it. Glow. Yes. It's her accent. It's fine. We'll repeat everything <laughs> yes. she says. So it says, sea fennel is known to improve the appearance of skin tone and radiance. And it reduces the appearance of imperfection due to aging. So mm. basically, this is just skin, like skin heaven. Yes, it's great. Okay, there it you go. It does smell really good with the la uh, frankincense infused Lavender infused frankincense. Yeah. In case you want to try that, because it's also great for the skin. In case you want to try that. Now, Katrina. Not, not that we know what that is. Sea fennel is one of Katrina's favorite. 
Mm-hmm. And I just found out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it is really. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we have no well, idea what you guys are talking about. What's the date about. today? Oh, it's it almost three days. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you have somehow received, which I don't know how, lavender-infused frankincense, um, it works with sea fennel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and C Fennel's 15% off through Tuesday of next week. You don't need a coupon code, just add it to your cart. You get automatically will get 15% off through Tuesday of next week. So go check out C Fennel. Maybe go find out how you can get some lavender infused <laughs> frankincense, just saying. Um, and then let us know what you guys think. Let's see if we have any comments. Um, let's see. Um, I think I need sea fennel. Stacy said my daughter loves the smell of sea fennel. Um, Sherry Rotter, that's what I thought too. We be getting ignored. Oh, <laughs> why are you guys being getting ignored? Well, <laughs> it's she true. We kind of ignore you guys. Hashtag plant therapy cheese curd gang. So she's probably. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Hash plant therapy. Whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> does sea fennel smell like licorice? No. 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 <laughs> Smells like. Katrina, what does it smell like? So I think it like a seat. No, just kidding. Smells like, and I don't mean this in a bad way because it's one of my favorites. <laughs> but like a garage, like a kind of like a mechanic's garage. Like you walk in, and that's sort of what it, it smells like. That's what I get from it. And okay, I like it. that's yeah, it. Open it up. It's now, now smell it. You're gonna smell it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it does. Um, what else does it smell like? Like maybe a, a little bit like in it like a super intense kind of tea tree maybe like very medicinal. Crayons. <laughs> it's a little you know hit you in the face, take a breath, and then you're like, oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a tire shop more than a mechanic shop. Yeah. Oh, aren't yeah. we getting just nitpicky <laughs> yeah. over here? <laughs> it smells good. It still smells like a mechanic shop that just does tires. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I shouldn't give Tyler a hard time because he is tired, okay? He traveled all day to come visit us today. Well, and it's funny because Christy said, ew, gross, but it actually... It doesn't smell. We mean that in the best. No, way. I, I don't yeah, think it's, it's so a, weird. It's like, not a bad smell at all, for sure. It's not. It's not a bad smell. It is intense. Um, so I do think that, like you know, moving it away and allowing your brain to process the aroma, I think is necessary because it is like a hit you in the face kind of immediate aroma. Um, but then I think it's yeah. It's well, like and Amber like says a carrot. I can see that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amber says it smells like her husband. Well, which, there you go. Little do you know, sea fennel is actually. The um, botanical name for sea fennel is, is husband? Husbandus sweaticus. <laughs> Who works in a, 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 in a, a mechanical yeah. shopist that a only does tireists. Tireists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be a it's really a long life. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, uh oh. I just showed them the back of this card, I think. Uh oh. Jerry, I'm not very good. <laughs> okay, we are going to do what's in the name game. Are you ready? I'm ready. are getting the hang of it over here yeah, okay you have 60 seconds to tell us what oil this is and i will readjust citrus reticulata i'm adjusting this guy so don't worry don't panic don't panic there we go what oil is this and if you participate in the guessing just guess guess a hundred times because we're going to choose a winner What is this oil? How many seconds do they have left, Danny? They have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Do you guys know what the oil is? I know. <laughs> I was going to say. There's a picture yes. on the back, you guys. Ooh, can they tell from the... Oh, I guess, yeah, this one they would be. Yeah. I mean, it could technically maybe be a few things. Technically. <laughs> maybe. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Hurry, guess. Guess a million times if you don't know what the answer mm-hmm. is. Ooh, you guys are really good. Kristen thinks it's a banana. She's very confused. It is not a banana on the back of here. I just and heard her say banana. Is up. I don't know what she said to Tyler. <gasps> it's mandarin. Woohoo! Look at those mandarin. delicious Aww. mandarin oranges. I like the picture. Looks like bananas. 
Yeah, this is the picture that she saw that Whoa, from Kristen Audis. was like, wait, that's not bananas? No, it's not, honey. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Mandarin, so we are going to see who the winner is. Jesse. In just a minute. And then we're going to play ooh, fact or fiction with you. Um, and then we're going to talk about the diffuser. We're going to talk about the fact or fiction. You know, we got lots to do. Yeah, and I'm excited uh, about the facts and uh -oh. fiction truths about this oil. Okay, I'm refreshing my, um, whatever, my screen. Oh my goodness, because the comments weren't coming through. It's, okay, here we go. Your pants aren't very mouse No, friendly. it's the paper that's not. My pants are fine. Oh. Okay, so the winner is Faith Ponce from YouTube. Yay! So Faith, you're thing. oh, Kristen, mm -mm. show us how to really do it. All right. Thank you. Did you guys see what she was doing? She's new to the life. She was like, oh. "Gotta do it like a southern lady, <laughs> like spoons." Yeah. Um, okay, so Faith Ponce, you just won yourself a ten mil mandarin. Um, so email cs at planttherapy.com. and um, confirm your mailing address, and we'll send you a ten mil mandarin. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But <laughs> Jesse, Faith is saying thank you <laughs> oh, for picking her. Um, okay, guys, let's see. So, fact or fiction? Okay, so behind us, we have a statement. No, a question. I lied. It's a question. Well, it's a statement. I don't know where to go. So you were fine right there. The camera's <laughs> perfect. Okay, good. Okay. So fact or fiction, <laughs> lavender can help reduce irritation from bee stings. Is that a fact or a fiction? You tell us. Where's my thing? It's in my hand. What do you guys think? What fact do you think? Or fact or fiction? Susie says, it's true. Yeah, Cassie says fact. Kristen says fact. Are there any fictions? I mean, I could come up with one, but the reality is this is a fact. So. It is a fact. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so Tyler and fact? Katrina <laughs> are going to tell us why. Why does lavender... Oh, this is my favorite part. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> why... In fact, if you're not allergic, somebody said. Um, why... Why? Why does it help reduce irritation from bee stings? So lavender is one of those versatile oils that's pretty much good for everything. everything. But um, in this particular instance, I would say it really boils down to the anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties of the oil. It's good at helping, you know, reduce inflammation, which causes, which causes pain. pain. Yeah. It helps, you know, just reduce the pain and soothe the discomfort that you would have had anyways. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that little lesson right there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. DMC Three Ring Circus says, <laughs> I use it for all my bug bites. It works great. It works great. It really does. Um, because it soothes, works, uh, because lavender is the workhorse of oils, anti-inflammatory. Love your shirt, Tyler. It's one of our planting kindness shirts. Um, rock on lavender, Carla says. Um, lavender at what dilution? So, I mean, I've even, I've tried it like, um, probably at like a 3% dilution and have received great results. Like, it doesn't need to be a lot. No. Nope. You'll, you'll be able to get results. I would say within like, you know, 1% to 5% dilution would be great for a, for a bee sting or a bug bite. Her Adventures in Reading is asking, is lavender kids safe? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Lavender is kid safe, and it's a great one to work with, to use with children, because it's great for all skin types. It's not, doesn't have any concerns with irritation as long as it's diluted properly. Um, it is so great. Um, Danny had his hand up. <laughs> I raised my hand, Katrina. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The <laughs> following rules. Yesterday, Paisley, my daughter, bit me on the lip. Like, I had her on my shoulders. Can, can we just, like, do a, like, a little <laughs> note here that Paisley likes to bite, okay? This isn't, like, abnormal of Paisley. <laughs> yeah. Paisley, like, I was on my oh, shoulders. Oh, wait. No, it's 
It's Sawyer that Sawyer bites. that bites, because yeah. Sawyer bites Paisley. That's right, because I've yeah. seen bites on four. Okay, Paisley. so Paisley's learning yeah, she from Sawyer, me. her twin brother, how to bite. It's fine. So would Lavender, <laughs> Tyler, would Lavender help with that? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <what> I <laughs> um, so someone says, what is with this cheese curd thing? So Rachel, one time we talked about cheese curds on the live um, because I call them squeaky cheese. Um, and that's the same thing as cheese curds. Anyways, I don't know why it brought up, but Tyler and I both like cheese curds. And I have a surprise package here, which was brought to me. And with all these cheese curds thing, I want us to be surprised if maybe there are some cheese curds in that surprise package. So should we open it? Let's do it. Let's open it. Um, this was sent to Tyler um, to open from a customer. What customer? Do we know? Um, there's a note on the inside. Okay, we'll, we'll so we're going to read that. the note. Yeah. Um, so it was sent in by a customer or customers. I honestly have no idea. We'll get Plural. by now. And they specifically asked that we opened it on the live. I will say that Chris did open it previously um, <laughs> to make sure that it was appropriate to open on the live. Um, but he did not allow me to look. So Now, I'm worried that uh, Chris may have... Oh no, this is Taking your stuff out. Oh, I'm opening it. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't know why Ooh. that's an uh-oh. I'm just a delivery <laughs> man. Scissors, careful. Care just yeah, watch out, boy. guys. Man, I sure hope there's some kind of food in there because I am starving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to get this down. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Oh, look at that. We opened it upside down, you guys. Well, what? Chris had opened it upside down, and when he put it back together, I thought he put it back oh, together. Oh, look at that, down, you guys. So Is there a card in here? It should be the order invoice. <gasps> it is cheese cards. Oh, my goodness. These don't look like little worms. Is that cheese spaghetti? Yeah, and you guys, look at that. So when they were opening it, I was like, is there pickles in there? <laughs> there are dill cheese curds. These are oh the best. Oh, my gosh. And some dill chocolates oh my gosh who's it from look at this i don't know oh wait oh no okay can they can you guys see this so lisa Kroom is saying hashtag plant therapy cheese curd gang so is Brittany. i'm wondering there we so go. christina oh we found it so guys that's a lot of cheese curds are you ready for this, guys? Yes, we're ready. Okay, it says, To Retha, Danny, and Katrina, we're loving the lives and appreciate all your oily goodness. Is this for me? You've got it all. Safety, education, fun, and giveaways. But you're missing one thing, the love of the curd. So please enjoy. <laughs> ah! It's our small way of saying thank you. This tote is for Retha since she's been giving the curds. The shout out. The shout out. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is enough Holy cheese curds God, to pass around. I have never heard of this mozzarella whips. That's that new. Sounds amazing. Whip one and of those I out. will literally take one of these and hit Danny with it because it <laughs> seems appropriate. But I would be totally fine with it. Oh, Who these did you are say it was from, Tyler? These are smoked whips. So Lisa Kroom, um, she's the one that sent the package, but she said it was from a collective of customers. Um, she also said it would be on the note, but she lied. So. Oh, oh, Lisa! Lisa. <laughs> You'll have well, to tell us who the rest of the Let us are. know who sent this. So here's all the cheese curds. And then there's also a ton of chocolate in there. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Read from curds. who it is. So they keep saying read, but it only says Lisa's name on that. I think she forgot. <laughs> Whip it good. Okay, so this is going to be in our mouths at the end of the live. Oh, just yeah. saying. I'm Maybe so all excited. of them. <laughs> okay, so thank you to Lisa and everyone else, which I think Lisa will hop on. Danny, can you watch and see if you're, so we can have lots of eyes on. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're seeing hashtag plant therapy cheese curd gang. That's true. Um, Brittany is Suzanne, one of Suzanne. Yeah. Brittany, Lisa. Amanda. Amanda, yeah. Oh, you guys are amazing. Amy. What is a cheese curd? Cassie. I really don't even know. I'm not going to lie. It squeaks in your mouth, though, when you chew it. You don't know what a cheese curd is? So I can tell you what a cheese curd is. Is it like, um, well, yeah, tell us. So when they make cheese, the, they 
do some stuff with the milk. They add some mm -hmm. um, stuff into a big vat of milk, and it causes the che cheese the to, milk curd. to curd. And then they take all those cheese curds and they smash them together. So these are just the individuals. Yes, and so they make the different cheeses by smashing it all all those curds together, and and then they let them sit around and get moldy or whatever so that it adds sharpness to the cheese or whatever. Does that sound right, everybody that's watching? I mean, it sounded right to me. Pretty it sure did. that's it. But cheese curds are better than regular cheese. They're, they're I mean, a, they're squeaky, which is really cool. Yeah, they're squeaky. They're a milder flavor usually. You don't, they'll, yeah, they're really good. I love them. Yeah, they are really good. So thank you for everyone. Um, someone said that they did confirm to Lisa that all the names would be written on there, and so it wasn't Lisa's fault, it yeah, sounds Lisa, like. We do not so blame Lisa, you. So Lisa, I only partially blame you. Just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you. That was super sweet. We're going to eat all these. I'm excited for this one too with all the peppers in it. Yeah, can we do this? Yes. You guys got, you threw away what your- What happened to your, yours? And she threw it at I me. I did not. <laughs> They're you very confused. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, next, we have some other things to get through, guys. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of G's. <laughs> I think that took like, oh, that's my exercise for the week. Um, okay, that's super cool. We love, you guys, we get stuff from our customers all the time. All this last week, I've been doing shout outs to things we've gotten in the mail. Like, you guys are amazing, we appreciate it, we love you, thank you so much for thinking of us, when it's really our job to think of you guys, so. You're pretty fantastic. Okay, um, let's see. Are we doing this? Yes. Is that PT Friends? It looks like it's a PT the Friends. PT Friends. Really quickly before you do PT Friends. Yes. If you want to participate in our PT Friends, guys, please, I keep forgetting to, to put this up, so I'm gonna do it now. Send your postcards and pictures to PT Friends at 510 Second Avenue South Twin Falls, Idaho, 83301. Thanks, Danny. So this was sent in um, from, well, I don't know, from Kristen. Hey. Oh. Um, and it looks like Luke and Claire also oh, so wrote in here. Very sweet. Um, so Luke says, I love my stuffed animal. He smells so awesome. And Claire, I think, was writing her name, <laughs> which is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, Kristen says, hello, PT friends. We're writing from way up in Maine. Thank you so much for an awesome J camp. My kiddos had as much fun as I did. My son got a bottle of Relax Energy and the bubble bath, and my girl got PJ and her favorite oil calming the child. I love catching your live videos on Instagram. You're all so friendly and funny. You guys always brighten my day. Thank you for the amazing products and essential oil information. Plant therapy is the best. Hope you all have an awesome week. We will with these cheese skirts. <laughs> um, Kristen Wallace, P.S. Thanks for making the Mercury Retrograde sticker available longer. I got one and I love the stickers so much. And then Luke colored his little... Um, oh, that's oh, this not Coco. Um, Coco, thank yes, you, Coco, so right cute. there. So that's she adorable. Her name the same way that I do. Kristen with the two eyes. Just yes. What? Right. No e. No e. No e. I yep. can. Um, and Kristen gets a towel and something inside. Oil and aroma. Oh, an oil, a surprise oil, and an aroma pod inside. Yeah, those towels are really nice. They are, and they're huge, which I love. Huge bath towel. Um, well, not, well, a well, no, hand that's towel. A, yeah, huge that's hand not a towel. Huge. It'd be a bath no. towel for you, but. <laughs> it's a huge hand towel, that's what I meant. I like to use it in the bath, though, to like lay on it. That's what I was thinking. Okay, Jerry? Okay, guys, um, let's see. Let's go to comments. So, um, Kristen, email CS at planttherapy.com and, well, Instagram. She says she watches on Instagram. Um, email CS at planttherapy.com, confirm your mailing address, and we will get your prize sent out to you. So, congratulations. Okay, let's see. Um, hell to the Kristens, Kristens, the Kristens, Kristens. Um, okay, so, we have had, we weren't going to cover this today. We were going to talk all about um, 
the kind of new kid safe sets that we've put together in the new diffuser. Um, but we wanted to talk about the diffuser today um, to answer some questions because we've been getting a lot of questions and so we wanted to address those. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna end the video with our last giveaway um, and then call it a night because we're already 30 minutes into this live. So let's do this, you guys. You're awesome for hanging out with us this long. So our new diffuser, this is the size of it. Can you see? Can you see? Let's compare it to Kristen's head. <laughs> and then to Tyler's. And then to Tyler's head. It's very small. Okay. <laughs> but Tyler smiles much better. <laughs> Wait, whoa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I totally agree. Since, actually. since that doesn't have a mouth. Really. Uh, well, I thought or you meant than me. It's a big me. open mouth. Aww. That's true. I'm hoping that's a belly, though. So this is our cute little diffuser. Um, right now it currently has the fox ears on it and um, you can just take off the lid and just use your thumb to pop the ear off um, and then pull it like this, pop it from the inside. Um, and then these are the cute little bunny ears. I don't know what way it goes. Let's hear it everybody. Aww. 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 And then it has bear ears. It's so cute. How cute is this, you guys? You can get this exact same diffuser for all of your kids, and they can just choose whatever ears they like the most. It's like a potato fuser. It, it, or a potato a head. A potato diffuser. head. A potato head diffuser. A diffuser head. Oh, no, that, that doesn't work. That's kind of cute. <laughs> and that's the little bear. Okay, so those are the ears. That's not the question we've been getting. Um, and if you guys have questions, you can ask them here um, in case I'm not going to address them. But couple questions that we've been getting. Um, one of them that we've been getting a lot is customers are asking if the music and the light shuts off when the diffuser runs out of water. And the answer is yes, it does. So although the light um, can be, um, runs independently of the actual diffuser, so of the misting, um, if it is set for the diffuser to be on and it runs out of water, um, the lights and the music will shut off at the time it runs out of water. Um, or if it's on the first setting where it just diffuses for 30 minutes and shuts off, um, the light and the sound will shut off at that time. But if it does shut off, you can still come and turn the light and the music on. Oh, it's so sweet. You can still turn the light and the music on. Um, without the diffuser setting. But if it is on and it runs out of water or it's the end of the 30 minutes, then um, then the water and the light, or the music and the lights do turn off. Tyler, keep your eyes open. Don't fall asleep. So Susie says, can you run it without the music? You absolutely can run it without the music or without the lights. Um, those are additional settings that you can turn on, but they do not have to be on. Flip it around so they can see that back. Right here. So this is what's going to turn on and you push it three different times for the different settings. And then this is um, the... Is that the lights? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the lights and the music. And, and um, the, the product page as well as the um, uh, user manual, whatever it's called, um, both explain how to get the different light colors because it has different light colors. So if you first push it, it runs through all of the colors, um, but then you can push it different times to actually change the different colors. So, I don't know how it's looking on Facebook or YouTube, but on Instagram it's giving like a strobe lighting effect from the yes. lights, oh. and that is not what it looks like. No, yeah. it, it, it is just a solid light. And that that happens because of the camera re refresh rate. You would, mm -hmm. You'll see the same look when you... Um, go to a, a TV, you're filming a TV mm -hmm. screen. So don't don't panic. Yeah, thank you for noting it's that. very relaxing. Um, okay, so people are saying, can you add music to it? We've asked if you can like hook up it up to Apple. It is not Bluetooth music. The music is um, part of the diffuser, I mean, part of it. Um, so you can't add music to it. And the music, um, it has like a lullaby as well as um, like kind of outdoor, like foresty kind of sounds. Um, and sometimes it combines it, sometimes it's more foresty, sometimes it's more lullaby, um, and it just changes through those, those two types of sounds. 
um, when you play it. And there, so it's just the one, you just turn the music. It just has three volumes, but it's just the one music that's with it that you know goes through um, kind of the four sounds and the lullaby sounds. Um, but it is only that option, just three different volumes on that. Can an adult use it? Absolutely. <laughs> um, let's see. Chris, is that you? I know. I'm, I hear a cheese eater coming up. A cheese eater. Now, I um, did see a see. couple of questions about Ooh. the diffuser that might be nice to answer. Okay. Um, On here? Yes. Okay, perfect. So the answer is yes. It can be used for adults if, if, <laughs> if you want. Um, there's nothing that's going to happen if you do. You um, and yes, it does have intermittent um, settings, and they're actually unique to this diffuser mm -hmm. for kids. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of um, rethinking and talking to each other and consulting about what we would envision being in a kid safe diffuser. Mm -hmm. And so what we landed on, instead of the 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, stuff like that, um, it, there, there's three different settings. You can run it for 30 minutes, it'll shut off or there's 15 seconds on 30 seconds off or 15 minutes on and 30 minutes off mm -hmm. so it's you know less diffusion time so you're not overdoing it it's not as strong so it's just perfect for kids and on that diffuser time and um, we've also been getting questions on how long the diffuser runs if on those intermittent settings um, so if you choose the 30 minutes on it runs for 30 minutes and then shuts off permanently unless you turn it on again. Um, the 15 seconds on, 30 seconds off, it can run, um, it runs for around 14 hours. Um, and then the water, that's about when the water is empty. And then for the 15 minutes on, 30 minutes off, um, you get about 16 hours. So plenty of time to get you through the night. Um, thanks, CS is answering. It does hold 145 milliliter of water. Um, okay, did you see any other questions? No, but it was that just was it. Too. Okay, awesome. So if you guys, um, I also just have a, a couple more like it's, these are just questions CS are getting. Um, the cord is six foot long. Um, it can be used in other countries. It is a multi-voltage, 100, 100 to 240 volts. Um, so it can be used worldwide with an adapter. Um, the plastic is BPA free and high quality poly, high quality poly propylene which also is known as PP um, anyways yeah PP right <laughs> so um, if you have any other questions CS has a ton more information we will we are going to I think update the product page with a couple of these things just because we're getting them asked so much um, but hopefully that helps clarify some of your questions on our new kids safe diffuser which I love that you can change the ears yeah yeah okay um, so anything on Instagram about that uh, nope, you answered all the questions. Yay! Good! Um, okay, guys, who's ready for a giveaway? Oh, right. wait. That, there we go. There we go. Um, oh, actually, I was supposed to tell you one more thing about the diffuser. Very specifically. So this is an air hole right here um, that allows the diffuser to diffuse. Um, so when you are filling up the diffuser, um, just make sure that water does not get into that air hole. And when you are dumping out old water, make sure you dump it opposite way of the air hole. Because if the air hole, if water does get in the air hole, it can ruin um, because that goes down to the innards of it. So it can ruin the diffuser. So the air hole on the side, make sure water does not get in there. And when you are dumping it out, you dump it out opposite of the air hole. Yes, Katrina. If it gets knocked over, will it spill or turn off? Um, that's a good question that I don't. So it, um, it possibly could spill. The good news is, is it's, um, two lids. So it is pretty protected there. Um, but it will, it pro probably will spill a little bit if it does get knocked over. Um, I do believe that that's a question that we were addressing when creating this diffuser. And it was important to us that it did turn off if it got knocked over. Um, but I cannot a hundred percent say if that is correct or not. So maybe email CS at planttherapy.com or they might have that answer for you, um, already. Oh, the knockover part? What does it say? It says it shuts off. Oh, it says it shuts off if it gets knocked over. And I actually knocked it over by mistake. And it shut off. And it shut off. Yay! Oh, it shuts yeah, off yeah, when yeah. it gets knocked over. Thanks, awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, um, if you have any other questions, did you have something to say? Several people are asking how to clean it. Oh, how to clean it. So you would clean it the same as you would any other diffusers. Um, 
the inside, this part looks very similar. It has the, the red fill line right there, um, so you don't want to fill it above that. And um, just when you're done diffusing, if you just get like a clean cloth, um, just wipe it out. And then um, once it starts looking like it needs a cleaning, we have a, a post on the blog um, that tells you how to safely clean your diffuser. Um, but I would just say like when you're done diffusing, you know, wipe out the water so it's not just sitting in the diffuser. Um, and really you probably only need to clean it like once a year if you do that, if you keep up with it. Diffusers yeah. don't need clean very often as long as you're wiping them out. So, yep, that's what we would <laughs> recommend. Oh, I thought you were saying something about that. Um, okay, so that's the diffuser. If you have any other questions, please email CS at planttherapy.com. Um, Plant Therapy saying they also tested it and knocked it over. We don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it does shut off. Um, okay, guys, giveaway time. Do one of you want to tell them what the giveaway question is? Yes, I'll, I'll show you. Sure. Okay, so first of all, um, you have until midnight tonight to enter the giveaway. You need to enter via the giveaway link. And um, on Facebook and YouTube, that link is going to be posted in the comment section of the live video as well as in the live video description. And then on Instagram, um, it's going to be in the plant therapy stories. It will just go through the stories. It will say to swipe up to enter the giveaway, swipe up and it will take you to the giveaway page. So you have until midnight tonight. And the giveaway question is, what do you like <laughs> most about lavender? Ooh. Ooh. So we have here, whether that's the lavender lotion, our lavender hydrosol, lavender aloe jelly, lavender essential oil. Um, what do you love most about lavender? Any of those lavender products, how you use lavender, we want to know. What do yeah. you love most about lavender? Um, just the versatility of it. It's good Not for the smell. so much. So that's me. That's high in my head. I like okay. the hydrosol. The hydrosol. What do you do with the hydrosol? I actually um, mix it with a little bit of um, ice and water and use it. That was ice. <laughs> ice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a southern girl. Here. All these southern people are like, finally someone I can <laughs> understand. Um, ice and water and make a compress. Just uh, yeah. um, dip a cloth in it, wring it out, lay it you know, on your area of concern, and it's great. My daughter had knee surgery and we use it quite oh, often that, on her yeah. knee, especially after physical therapy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That is great. Um, so let us know what you guys, is that what they're, is that what they're winning too? So that's what they're winning and not part of the question. It's cool guys. It's yeah. cool. Okay. So what you're winning is we're going to choose one winner and they're going to win lavender lotion, lavender hydrosol, and lavender aloe jelly. That was not part of the question. It's okay guys. <laughs> It's totally fine. It's hump day. It's cool. So I one winner is going to win all three of those things, which is amazing. Most of our viewers probably already have lavender because they know how great it is. <laughs> so this is to give you some, some things that you might not have with lavender in it. Awesome. 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 Okay, guys, don't forget the oil of the week is sea fennel. Kristen likes to use it with lavender and younger glow, I assume, on your face. Yes. Yes. Um, it's 15% off through Tuesday of next week. Don't forget to check out the new diffuser and Kid Safe sets. Um, and the Kid Safe sets are just um, the same Kid Safe oils. They're just combined differently to save you money for specific, you know, kid purposes. Um, and then um, we'll be talking more about those on Friday. And I think say hi to Tyler and Kristen and say bye to Tyler and Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, you guys. Come back Friday. We have a DIY using sea fennel. Um, it's for a seasonal allergy blend, it says. So come back and join us to do that on Friday and to also talk more about the sets, kids safe sets, and diffuser. And that's all. Have an amazing hump day, a wonderful evening. I will see you Friday. They'll still be here Friday, I think. Yeah, so yeah. maybe we'll have them pop in and say hi again. Um, thank you for the squeaky cheese. You guys are amazing. We love you, and we'll see you Friday. Bye, guys.